My family and I like to travel and we frequently go to Rocky Point, Mexico. We were in the water having fun. Something hit me in the foot and I immediately went down with excruciating pain. When I took my foot out of the water, it was bleeding profusely and it was terribly painful and I was screaming and people came running and it was a stingray. But four days later we got home and I went to see a doctor. Over a two week period, I was on five antibiotics. One morning I woke up and started having extreme diarrhea. So I knew that something was wrong. And sure enough, once we did some tests, we realized that, that I had C. diff. Normally the Clostridium difficile organism resides in our colon without causing any problems or infections. However, when we do take antibiotics for whatever reason, we develop an overgrowth of Clostridium difficile because our normal colon bacteria are destroyed from the antibiotics we are taking. So when we develop a C. difficile infection, what we're trying to do is prevent this from becoming a life-threatening occurrence of sepsis. It's estimated that there are over a half a million cases of Clostridium difficile infection a year with almost 30,000 deaths. Once we develop a C. difficile infection, ironically, the treatment is another antibiotic. There are several antibiotics, specifically three, that are active against the C. difficile bacteria. C. difficile has begun to develop a resistance to these antibiotics. These so-called superbugs that do develop become increasingly difficult to treat, and we must be very, very careful that we don't use antibiotics against C. difficile unless we are absolutely sure the C. difficile is in fact causing the infection that we are trying to treat. We need to be cognizant of the fact that these antibiotics that do so much good can also do a lot of harm. One of the ways that we can help decrease this risk factor is by utilizing antibiotics more appropriately, and this is typically what we call antimicrobial stewardship. Uh, stewardship refers to the appropriate use of antibiotics, meaning we use the correct drug in the correct patient population for the correct disease. Uh, we try and use the optimal dosing regimen and limit the duration as much as possible. When we are prescribed antibiotics by our physicians, very frequently we don't take them all and we have leftover antibiotics. As a result, we put them in our medicine cabinets and the next time we begin feeling ill, without even consulting our physician, we'll just start taking those antibiotics again. That's a very dangerous situation. Clostridium difficile organisms and the spores that they form can live on inanimate objects for up to months at a time. Proper hand hygiene practices for C. difficile focuses on hand washing. And this includes proper technique, covering all surfaces of your hands, using warm soapy water, and also duration. You want to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. I became an extreme hand washer because I realized that this bacteria lives everywhere and as I'm fighting it, I don't want to reinfect myself. The important things would be to bleach areas that can be safely bleached, especially in the bathroom areas that may have been contaminated and also with bedding and, and uh, clothes that may have been soiled to, you know, to use bleach if possible when washing those areas. Communication between your healthcare provider and yourself is of the utmost importance. We should also be aware of the fact that when a physician does recommend an antibiotic, we should ask questions as to, is this the appropriate antibiotic? Do I really need this antibiotic? How long should I be taking this antibiotic? When should I stop it? So what we're doing is asking all of us to really get together and understand what the problem is that we're facing and how we together as a community can eradicate this infection.